Hey, brothers and sisters. Powering off. Um, I had, uh, I was just, um, you know, uh, tightening everything up with my computer and um, figuring everything out and getting everything ready to do whatever I need to do next. And, um, but I came across a, um, a video on YouTube young man, young gentleman, and, uh, well, I don't even like saying gentleman, I don't know why I said that, young servant of Jesus Christ right now, and I think he's about 23, I think he said, it was amazing to see how the spirit of the Lord is really pouring out right now, pouring out, when people say, I'm young, I'm 31, he's 23, and you can tell the poor spirit on him, poured out on him, and, um, you know, he had just recently got threats People calling him crazy, mental health, and all this. This is all I wanted to make this video on, and it, it don't even have to be long because it's very simple. Mental health itself, the term, the meaning, and what it is, is just more delusion, illusion. It's more deception than anything. Nothing is new under the sun. Nothing is new under the sun. Only thing that changes are what people call it and what people believe it comes from. Mental health, no doubt about it, is false. It is demons that either attach to the flesh or enter the flesh, possessed by demons. They want us to believe it's mental health. Now tie that with drugs. Drugs is sorcery. It's sorcery. Whip the drugs together, it opens up the portal. The demons can enter easily. This is all of Lucifer. He wants everybody drunk and high, open them themselves to another realm, a demonic realm, so they can come in and possess you. That's it. That's it. That, that's it. There's nothing around it. People can feel how they want. And the problem is, there's no servants trying to do healings or, or, or casting demons out in silence. I don't even know what that says. 15 minutes left, bro. Uh, I don't know. But um, casting demons out in silence. You know, everybody wants to do it on TV, waving coats, blowing air, and all that, which I you know, don't have much to say about that. Wave your coat in a mental hospital. But be aware, all those who claim they can cast out demons, read your scripture. That demon might turn around and say, I know Jesus Christ. He might name a couple of servants he knows. But then that demon might turn around and say, who are you? And you'll be running for the hills. Just because you uh, say the name of Jesus or wave your coat, that's entertainment. But uh, so... Don't let no one fool you, mental health, and, you know, real quickly, because there's nothing to really talk about. There's no debate. There's no nothing about it. Um, 15 years of my life, I dealt with drug addiction, mental health. I went on meds, off meds, rehabs, everything. 15 years. I'm 31, so I'll say 16 years. No, 15, because I'm going on a year. Nothing. No mental health problems, no meds, no medication, no drugs, no alcohol, nothing. Just Jesus Christ alone. And uh, I went through 15 years of it. Jail, state mental hospitals, mental hospitals, rehabs. No one had the answer. All they wanted to do was keep putting me on meds that just suppressed me, suppressed me, suppressed me. And they, out of the doctor's mouth, they said there's no magical pill for mental health. There's no healing mental health because mental health is fake. It's demons. All they can do is compress it. And then how does the child of God end up? You can't do the will of nobody. Not the father, not your own will, nothing. Lucifer don't care if people want to debate about this. As long as he got millions and millions of people like this in an insane asylum, that's the one less child of God you got to worry about. He don't even got to worry about if they're going to take the mark or not. Because as long as they're getting pills, they're like this. How, they find, how will they find salvation like this? Now, I'm not putting limitation on the Holy Spirit. God knows all sees, all sees in hearts. So just because you're in a mental asylum or in a hole in a jail don't mean the Lord can't get to you. You know, the, the Lord, the 
Google, it accounts everything. So don't be confused or misled by this mental health. Read scripture. Read scripture. If anybody wants to test what I'm saying, read scripture. You'll see it all through scripture. Demons. Technically, let's take one um, explanation of this. Uh, what's a delusional, paranoid, schizophrenic? Um, it's someone who hears a voice and acts on that voice and says that voice told them what to do. Well, by that definition, every single person in the Bible is mental health. I'll just use Moses for an example. Right now, if I were Moses, I'm Moses. I went to a doctor and said, I saw a burning bush. It told me I am that I am. And it told me where to, to go into this, this place where people want to kill me and tell him, thus saith the Lord, let my people go. Know what the doctor will do? My wife's glasses. Uh -huh. A bush, huh? Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Let let your people go. This is what this voice said. You're getting nothing but Thorazine. A Thorazine shuffle. A Thorazine shuffle. Every, pro every prophet in the Bible would be crazy because they heard a voice and acted on it. This is just one small hint on what's going to happen in the end times when true followers of Jesus Christ, not religion, true followers of Jesus Christ get persecuted. One label they're going to put on everybody who follows the lamb is that we got mental health. Mental health. Because 90% of the world believes in mental health. So they're going to say, look, look at their book. They're hearing voices. These people hear voices. The Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Tell us about this Holy Spirit. That's what they're going to say. And I tell you, be careful with how you talk with the Holy Spirit. But no such thing as mental health. 100%. 100% no such thing. It's just we lack servants that can truly cast out demons. That's all this. So the demons have just over the years since people are like, oh, it's mental health. I wonder where that line crossed, where we're true Christians. Um, when I say Christian, it's total definition of what people think. 90%, 99% of people. No, I, I'm not talking about the institutional church, or the religion. No, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, Christian disciple, servant of Jesus Christ. I wonder where that line was, where Lucifer fooled the world into believing in mental health. One day it was demons, and next day it was mental health. And then the demons just covered the world. So I love you, brothers and sisters. And that brother, if he does see this video, you know, I'm talking about you, be strong. Don't worry about those threats. Many will stand against you. You're more than a conqueror. Be brave. Keep pushing forward. Never, 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 never back down. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will save you. He is our Savior. Um, you're young. So they're going to try to manipulate you, but you stay in the spirit, brother. And um, to my brothers and sisters, don't fall for the deception. I love you, and God willing, I'll make a, another video.